Hey, welcome to another show. Today on the show, we are going to be talking about how to rewrite two-digit and three-digit numbers for subtraction, and we're going to be doing some regrouping. All right, stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to the show. We are going to be talking about rewriting problems. For example, if I have a problem that is like this, 35 minus 21. That problem written like this, it's a little difficult for some people and including myself sometimes to figure this answer out. So let's go ahead and rewrite it. So basically I'm gonna, I have a two digit number and to start out with what you can do is you can take a line like this, make three lines and this is going to be your tens and this will be your ones. And after a while, you won't have to use this at all. And then I'm gonna put a, a line down here, and this right here will be your sum. This will be your answer. So basically, I'm gonna write the first number right up on the top, 35, because this is the tens and this is the ones, all right? And now I'm gonna go ahead and write 21. So I'm gonna put 21 right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my subtraction sign, my minus sign right there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the problem. And remember, we have to follow different rules when we do subtraction. You subtract the ones first, you regroup if you needed, that is step two. And then number three, you subtract the tens. So let's go ahead and subtract the ones. Five minus one, I don't need to regroup because the number on the top is bigger. So five minus one, that's like taking five and taking one away from it. So that would leave me four, all right? So let's go on over. We did have to do step two, so now we do step three and subtract the tens. Three minus two, all right? You know what it is? Yeah, one. All right, you guys are awesome this morning. 14, 35 minus 21 is 14. The sum is 14. Ready to do another one? Yeah, I know you guys are. All right, let's do it. Okay, we got our next number here, 64 minus 27. Looks a little confusing, but let's put it on the board. We're going to rewrite it. So let's start. And if you want to, you can put those lines like I was doing, but after a while you won't need to. But of course, if you need to do it, go ahead and do it. 64, okay, right, I wrote my first number. I know that this is the tens, this is the ones, so I'm gonna go and put 27 right here. All right, now, uh, I'm gonna make a little mistake, all right? Some students, when they start writing, they kind of write a little sloppy, and that's why we like to have the lines, because then if you start writing a little bit sloppy, it gets very difficult to figure out where that number is. Is it in the ones or is it in the tens? So I would really appreciate it if you get in the habit of writing very neatly and precise. So I'm gonna put 27 right here and then the line that goes underneath it with a minus sign. So right away I do, um, and if you want to, you can take this number out, you know, if it gets a little confusing. Um, I'm gonna erase that so that we can concentrate now on this problem here. Okay, 64 minus 27, step one, subtract the ones, all right? Whoa, I got four, I got four right here. This is four and I wanna take seven away. Can I do it? No, because I only got four fingers. I don't have seven fingers, all right? So I need to take, I, I need to make that one bigger. I need to go over here to the tens place, borrow a 10 over here, all right? So remember how we did that? If you don't know how to do that, I have videos that go into more detail on that. But for now, I'm gonna borrow one from the tens right over here. Hello, Mr. 10, I'm gonna borrow one from you. So I go six minus one and that will be five. Carry that 10 over here, 10 plus four would be 14, all right? Super important that you put a line through here also super important that you write the number up on top, okay? I need to see your work. Your teacher needs to see your work. It's important for you to see your work. All right, 14 minus seven, what is it? Double fact, yeah! 14 minus seven is seven. Seven sent from heaven. All right, then we got five minus two. Five, take away two. Whoosh, what do you got? Bam, three. <laughs> yeah, five minus two, three. 
All right, you did it. 64 minus 27 equals 37. You guys ready to do the next problem? Yeah, let's do it, yeah. Right here, whoa, three digit number and another three digit number, little confusing. Hey, don't worry about it. Let's put some lines right there. All right, math ninjas, I can, you can do it. Come on, follow me. So let, we need to do, put about three spaces in here because we're dealing now not with just tens, we're dealing with hundreds. So let's go ahead and put some lines in here. These are helper lines, okay? Now, if I just did this, I would have my tens and my ones, but I need another line right here, okay? Now I can put my numbers in there. So I'm gonna put 300 right in my hundreds, and the three over here, I'm sorry, and this is 30, so this would be a three right here, and six, okay? If you need to, you can always put, you know, put ones right here, and tens, and hundreds, all right? Whatever you need to do when you're first starting out, these are helper, your helper lines, you are creating a habit. So let's put in our next number, 127, 127, okay? What are we doing? We are rewriting the problem to make it easier for you to figure it out, all right? Easier for you to subtract. So I put the subtraction line right here, put this line right here. Now we go ahead and subtract it. Remember, what do we do first? You subtract the ones. Whoa, I can't do that. Six minus seven. That means like you have six pieces of candy and I want seven of them. You can't do that. If that number right here on the top is too small, you need to make it bigger, okay? So now I need to go over to the tens place, borrow one from him. Hey, can I borrow one ten from you? Sure. All right, so um, I'm gonna erase the hundreds and tens part here. I'm gonna borrow one from the three, make that a two, bring that 10 over here, and that turns into 16. Now I can do it. 16 minus seven, sent from heaven. All right, I'm still working on that song, but anyway, 16 minus seven, what is it? Nine, that's right. I heard that person back there say nine. Okay, two minus two, two. <sighs> Take away two, what is it? Zero, all right, two minus two is zero. Three minus one. Uno, dos, two, a little Spanish for you. All right, two, all right. Oh, you know what? I made that number right there a little sloppy. Try to make it neat. I even make a little mistake once in a while, but make your numbers neat because sometimes your zeros might look like sixes. Anyway, back to the problem here. 336 minus 127 equals 209. Math Ninjas, how you doing? Ho oh, you ready for one more? Let's do it, yeah, boom. Whoa, another big number. Three digit number, 427 minus 246. We have to rewrite it. I'm gonna try rewriting this without those lines right there. If you wanna put in those lines, you can go ahead and do that. But I'm gonna see how I'm gonna do it. I just need to make sure that I write very neatly. Okay, so I'm gonna write the number 427. Remember, what are we doing? We are rewriting the numbers to make it easier to subtract, or if you're doing addition, to add. 427 minus 246, 246. Now, I'm gonna slow down a little bit to see if I did this correctly, because I wanna make sure that I have my ones all lined up very neatly, my tens lined up neatly, and my hundreds lined up neatly. Did I do it? I think so. I could probably have this line a little bit straighter. Remember, it create, we want to create a habit of neatness. Okay, let's start on our first number, seven minus six. Remember, you have seven something and you wanna take away six. Can you do it? Sure you can do it because this number is bigger on the top. Take away, seven minus six is one. Uno, yes. All right, let's go and we didn't have to regroup on that. Let's go to our tens. Two minus four, you have two I, and I have two. You have two? No, I have two. <laughs> I have two, you wanna take away four. Can you do it? No, I don't have two fingers right there. Yeah, I need to regroup. Hey, go over to the hundreds house. Hey, Mr. Hundred, can I borrow one? Sure. 
So you take one away from the four, that leaves you three. Add it to the two, this turns into 12. It's like, I am now 12, very powerful. You can take things away from me now. 12 <laughs> minus four, we're always having fun on this show. 12 minus four, what is it? Four, ooh, that's a big number. How can you figure this out? 12 minus four, we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I gotta use my other finger. 10, 11, 12, five, six, seven, eight. All right, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I always like to recheck, all right? And you know what? If you have fun with math, math is fun. So make it fun. All right, now I go over to the hundreds. Three minus two, three minus two is, what is it? One, yeah. All right. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show today. I hope you had a fun time doing two digit and three digit problems. What did we do today? What was the purpose? We learned how to rewrite a problem. Why do we want to learn how to rewrite a problem? Because it makes it a lot easier to figure out the answer. We also learned how to do a little bit of regrouping with our two digit and three digit numbers. If you wanna go more in depth on regrouping, check out my other videos on here. I have a lot of cool videos on math, language arts, and drawing. And I would love it if you would hit subscribe. If you're in class, tell your teacher right now, hit subscribe, do it, do it. All right, thanks a lot, thank you very much. Hey, I want you guys to have fun doing math because then that way math will be fun. And like always, have a fun day. Adios. Bye-bye.